Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Production Expert. And in this free tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the mixer section in Superior Drummer 3. Now the mixer in Superior Drummer 3 is a noticeable improvement compared to Superior Drummer 2. And it's a much more fully featured solution compared to Easy Drummer 2. So I'm going to start at the top of a channel and work my way down and explain each section. So at the top you see bleed level. Got some numbers here that correspond over here to the bleed from instrument section. So we've got 1 over 12. This means we've got 12 parts of the drum kit that can bleed into that channel. So we've got kick in and it's saying here that we've got snare enabled. So if I just solo that channel and you can hear a little bit of that snare bleed coming in. Now we can adjust the volume of that bleed up here very easily. And take it out altogether by disabling it or putting it in. We can put in other things like hi-hats and you'll see the number on the left there above the channel goes to 2 out of 12. Maybe put in cymbals. Starts to sound a little bit more like a real kick drum recording that. Now below that we've got a global bleed level. So let's say we set each one of our bleeds to how we like it but we want to either increase the overall effects or decrease, we can do that at the bleed level. So let's give that a go. On default, it's set to 100%. So really this is for backing off the effects more than anything. Very nice, very nice feature that. Below we have the effects section and we've got plenty to choose from. Tune Track have included a nice selection here that cover drum mixing quite well, I think. So if we go for an EQ to start with, again, staying on the kick drum. And you can see it's quite a fully featured EQ, this. Just double click to make new bands. Filters. Quite a lot we can do here. So let's throw another effect on this. Let's uh, get some compression going. Nice and simple. Now below this we've got buses. Now we can use buses to do all manner of things in a mixer. First of all, we can create a bus to send a portion of that signal to an auxiliary. So if we load up a new bus, bus two, the mixer automatically loads up a new channel, bus two. Now we can rename this very simple. I'm gonna call it reverb and we can add an effect. I'm gonna call it reverb, I'm gonna stick with that. Let's go for a spring reverb. I'm gonna set this to 100% wet because it's a send. Let's go back over to the kick drum, hit play. And we can adjust the level. All very simple. Now below that we've got pan and level. Now a nice little feature here is obviously we can adjust the level. But if we hold shift down on your keyboard you get fine fader modes. And I mean, it's really fine. I'm really having to work the mouse here. So that's a nice little feature below that. Solo mute and invert the phase. Got the output section below that now standard. Output one and two, if you're working in the stereo mode of this, so not the multi-channel. Output one and two go over here. Output one and two, it's like the master output for the instrument. But if you wanted to root out, let's say this kick drum into your DAW, I'm using Pro Tools. You click that, selects a different set of outputs. I'm gonna go for three and four. Got myself a stereo instrument track here to the left. Going to go input, plug in, superior drummer, three and four. So now I have control over the volume here in Pro Tools, which means I can also use my own third party EQs, compressors, effects, plugins, whatever in my DAW, which is great. Let's just set this back to output one and two. And below that, we can rename things. So if I didn't want to call it kick in, I could just call it, well, call it whatever I like. Now let's just look at the other kick drums here. So I've got kick in, kick out, and kick sub. If I wanted to adjust the volume of those, let's say as a group, I hold shift, highlight each of those channels, and that gives me control over that. Same with panning, same with bleed level, which is a really cool feature. But let's say you want to maybe process all of those kicks together, so like a mix bus. Again, very, very easy. Let's go and make a bus. I'm gonna use bus five, as you see, because they're all highlighted, they changed all together. And the mixer engine has created that bus five. I'm going to call this kick subgroup. Hit play. Now we have all three of those under one fader. Again, we can do what we want to do over here with effects. 
Now, when we track and mix stereo drums, we have two choices of how we want to present it in the stereo field. We either want to have everything panned from the drummer's perspective, so let's just say right-handed drummer that have the snare slightly off to the left, first rack tom left, second rack tom right, floor tom far right sort of thing, or you have it from the engineer's perspective, which is the other way round. So the high rack tom would be to the right, second rack tom would be to the left, and the floor tom more towards the hard left. Instead of us having to adjust each of these pans, we can go up to the mixer and hit this stereo reverse mixer. Boof, does it for you. So you have a choice and you can pretty easily flick between the two. Now, a nice little feature we have on the right here is the close mic audio from instruments slider. Now, I've got this on the snare. We can adjust the dry hits in everything, which is quite nice. If you just need a little extra push, but it's not fader push here, you can do that over here, which is quite nice. Now, something that you can't do in the mixer is change the colors. I know we're accustomed to that kind of workflow in a DAW, but we don't have that facility here in Superior Drummer. However, the system does color codes automatically, the outputs in red, buses, orange, and then everything else in blue. So it's really not that difficult to get around. Now, a final feature I want to show you is macros. At the bottom right here, we've got this macros control section. Now, what are macros? Basically, it means that we can link several effects controls together and control them via one macro give you an example. So let's go for distortion, tape saturator, I'm going to right click, I'm going to add that to a macro. So the drive sent to one macro, let's go for snare bottom, I'm going to add hall reverb, let's do mix wet dry, again, add it to the same macro, load both of these up so we can see them, load up the macro controls at the bottom. And when I twist this dial, you'll see that both the drive on the tape saturator and the dry mix on the reverb a control via this one control. Now you can do this for as many controls as you like. Really the only thing that's gonna sort of stop you from using this is your imagination. So think outside of the box and I'm sure you can get some pretty crazy effects all under one dial. Now at the top of the mixer, we've got some view options. Really straightforward. We can hide away parts of the mixer if you want or the entire mixer. So if you only wanted to see, let's say your buses, because you've subgroups everything out like I did with the kick drums earlier. You only need to make sure that the buses are selected. If you're working in, let's say, the multi-channel modes and you've got 11.1 .1 of drums going, you might just want to view those. In this case, I've only got output of one and two. But what's nice is if you click edit visibility, let's say you might not want to see kick out and kick sub. Maybe you're not using them. Maybe they're muted. Hit hides, edit visibility, and you can shrink down your mixer. And then to view those again, just hit edit visibility, unselect hide, and then click edit visibility again, you've got your tracks back. Now the properties on the right here can be hidden or shown. Anytime you're selected on a channel, the properties will change for that channel. Or if your cursor's over on the right hand side here, you can very quickly toggle between each drum hit by just clicking it at the top there. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from that very quick overview of the mixer within Superior Drummer 3. For more information on Superior Drummer 3, do check out the ToonTrack website. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.